Welcome to this new Flight Simulator update movie. It's here, the new world update, world update number seven. As you can see, I'm uh, currently downloading it, right? This is the first update which you need to install. So what you will see is that uh, in the store app, you will see that the gaming service updates. After that, you will see that the Flight Simulator uh, update will be installed. If you don't see it, you can always press the get updates and then the update all option. In some cases, you can see that uh, as with mine, you can see that the gaming service is stuck, but then simply close it and then uh, reopen the store and then go to the library section and then you will see that it's uh, normally installed. So let's see if we can open it uh, because this is the first part of the update, right? Uh, keep in mind that you always need to install multiple updates if you're updating Flight Simulator. The first one is via the store. Uh, the second one is when Flight Simulator starts, it will check for updates and then after that it will say prompt you and say, hey, I need to uh, install some updates. Uh, so let's give it uh, some, some time. In some cases it uh, takes a few minutes before it loads and that all depends on how many updates or how many uh, add-ons you have in a community folder. The less items are there, the quicker it starts. At least that is just one of my observations. If it doesn't work, you can always try to start it like this. So let's see. And else we need to wait. And you see, we were just a little bit too early. So it's version 1.22.2.0. That's the version which is um, the latest. So it will display the say, nice movies, right? The intro movies uh, and the Sobo logo also. And then it will start checking for updates again. So let's give it some time. After the Black Shark AI. So we already downloaded an update from 500 megabytes and this is the screen, right? So you can see that the start screen has also changed. It now shows a nice bridge and a nice city. I'm not sure which city it is. Oh, I see it. It's Sydney because it's the Opera House, right? Uh, so they have added the, the bridge or they optimized the bridge, hopefully. And now it will start checking for the update. Uh, be aware that this, this is the second update which you need to install. There's a third one. And the third one you need to install it from uh, Flight, Simulator, Flight Simulator itself uh, once it has installed this one. So let's see uh, how quickly we can get this update. So here it shows us. So it needs to uh, install this uh, update. It's not a lot to be honest. So uh, let's uh, update. Uh, so its update is uh, 1.88 uh, gigabyte. So simply press the update option. Then it will install all the updates. And in most of the cases, it will go really quick. And you can also see that they made some other changes because you can see some other files also. So it looks like that they sneaked in some other patches also for some other airports. Uh, this relatively goes quick normally, uh, depending on your internet speed, of course. Uh, if you got, I would say, slower internet speed, it will take some time. So let's see how long it will take. Um, it goes crazy fast. So already it's a 20 percent. So all the things. So now it starts really with the Sydney ones, right? You can see that the discovery flights are being added. Uh, also Melbourne, uh, there are also Perth, also Gold Coast, right? You can see that they already made some modifications, but also you can see that they updated, for example, Zurich Airport which wasn't, I would say, which isn't officially part of the world update. So it's keep in mind that the world updates uh, are, I would say, fixing some of the items by adding new content to new uh, world parts, but they also sometimes, I would say, update, I would say, parts which were already part of Flight Simulator. So it goes quick, we're almost at 50% already. You can see also that the Flight Simulator base has changed. And that could, I would say, result in some worries for some people, right? Because I would say if they also made modifications to other parts of Flight Simulator, then it might be that, I would say, also something is broken again. Hopefully not. Uh, but let's have a look at it. So we're almost there, right? Almost 70% already. It goes crazy fast, this download. Probably it's uh, because of the late time. 
In Emia it's already I'd say 10 o'clock, at least where I live. So it could be that some people are simply don't want to wait and simply download the update tomorrow. Normally those updates are available around 6 o'clock my time, 6, 7 o'clock my time. And then it goes, I would say, a lot slower than compared to how it goes uh, as we speak. It goes, it goes really fast. So we're almost there. What? Only 800. No, less. 80 gig. 8, 80 megabyte. Yeah. So it's decompressing and then it will download the last three packages right you can always see the progress here and uh, once it has downloaded it then we can continue with the rest of the stuff so now the installation has completed again right you can see that this screen has been updated now it shows uh, sydney uh, let's see uh, what slideshow comes uh, uh, or what slide comes off this because in most cases they have several slides here uh, depending on the uh, world updates so i'm really looking forward right to fly over this city again to see what they changed but that will be in another video this video is just to how to install it and um, what you need to do to make sure that you installed all the updates because in flight simulator world that's a little bit special compared to normal games right you would just install one update and then everything is updated but in case of flight simulator 2020 you need to install multiple things before you're completely updated one update again is the MS Store. The second is when Flight Simulator starts. And the last one uh, is via the uh, Marketplace, which we're going to do in a few minutes, hopefully, once it's loaded, because this sometimes takes some time to load, right? You can see a black screen is now being displayed, but we shouldn't be too worried about that. Let's simply wait and see. So while we're talking or while we're waiting, uh, oh, if you, I would say, have some ideas about what you prefer to have uh, as the uh, favorite stuff or the favorite places in Australia, leave a comment in the comment box below for this video. Uh, in the meantime, right, we got some more information, 100 airport uh, data updates, some elevation updates, uh, four bespoke uh, airports, six discovery flights, five landing challenges, five bush trips. So a lot of cool new stuff has been added to uh, this world update. Keep in mind that there is also uh, a new aircraft available, at least I hope it is because I couldn't check it yet, uh, which was, I would say, planned to be released in parallel with the world update. Uh, it was the Fokker uh, V7, if I'm correct. Uh, so that one is probably not for free while this world update is for free, right? You can simply download it if you already have, I would say, Flight Simulator 2020. Or maybe you're lucky and you've got the Xbox Game Pass. In that case, you've got the standard edition for free. And then you can also install uh, those world updates. You can see that the progress bar on the bottom uh, progress slowly, but here we are. So... You can see some uh, messages here. Okay, hey, it says an update is available, right? Download has started. So this is something we can close. Uh, so uh, let's have a look. So some things have uh, changed probably because we installed the world update. So let's have a look at the discovery flights first. So the discovery flights, it could be that nothing has changed yet because we didn't install the world update itself, right? So let's first have a close look at it. Uh, yeah. Here you can see, right? So the Gold Coast, Melbourne, uh, Penelope Alps, uh, Perth, uh, Aluru Kata Chukta National Park, and Sydney itself. You can see that you still need to download them, right? So they kind of tricked you by believing that it installed everything. And that is the first or the third uh, update which you need to install. Uh, when we're scrolling down, we can see, well, nothing new here, but we cannot see. Here's some new stuff being added to the discovery flights. Uh, the other uh, things, you will find them in the activities, but in most cases, uh, you won't find them uh, directly after the uh, installation of this update because it simply doesn't have the content yet. So let's uh, quickly scroll down and you can see it, right? It 
does it have it? It has uh, uh, Sydney here, but I thought that that one was already part of it. Well, I'm pretty sure because else it doesn't show the uh, B that I completed it. So what you need to do now is install that world update. And that can be done using either this option or you can go to home and then go to, uh, sorry, to the marketplace uh, via this way. Or if you want to install an update on an existing item, you can go to profile and then to the content manager. That's always a recommend recommended option to do because you can see that uh, besides the options or the updates which they provided, there are six additional updates. So if I select them, uh, you will see them here, right? So it means that they updated also all the previous world updates. So don't forget to install them because in some cases, those updates are pretty serious, right? So once you've uh, found them, you can press select all and then you can download them. And that's an additional 500 megabytes, which means that we're in total, we are already, I would say, downloading a lot. Uh, Keep in mind that if you do this, a uh, flight simulator will probably act, uh, react very slowly. Uh, so don't start flying around or something because it will not work correctly. Uh, so wait for all these updates to be installed. And then you, of course, need to install the most important update. And that's the world update itself, right? Which contains all the other stuff like the learning challenges, etc. So while we're waiting, it goes relatively fast as you can see right you can always keep an eye on this one uh, because it normally updates uh, what it has done so an update for world update number four and an update for world update number five an update for world update number six and once that's done we can go to home again and we can check the marketplace itself because the marketplace itself also contains of course a full catalog of all kind of stuff but we're most interested in the world update and you can do that by pressing the world update option then we'll show you in this case uh, australia right if you didn't have it yet you can Use that option and you can say either get, which only gets the update, but doesn't actually download it. Or you can say get and download and you can always already think about what will happen. In that case, it will start downloading the package, which is an additional 2.5 gigabyte, right? So keep in mind that uh, it's a lot of data which you're gonna download. Uh, once it has completed the download, it will start installing it. So. This update or this world update requires this version of Flight Simulator, but lucky enough, right? We already installed that one, uh, so we don't need to do anything in addition to that. Uh, while the update is being or is installing, I want to have a look to see, okay, is there already something more available? So I'm gonna go to the uh, full catalog and then go to the categories and then go to the aircrafts because I want to know if the Fokker aircraft is already available. Uh, it looks like it is not. Last time they also said they that they will deliver it, I would say, in the same time frame. It also wasn't there. Uh, another good thing would be maybe to look at the news although the news i think they did hide it because previously this was i would say a kind of a uh, i would say advertising center or piece of the uh let's say interface so in the meantime we can uh, have a look if it already installed it so we can it looks like it already completed it oh it's not so it looks like that they broke the uh, notification manager because the notification manager didn't tell us a lot. So what's else available? Well, nothing, unfortunately. Unfortunately, there's the tape. It's always the, the challenge uh, to release uh, multiple things at the same time. But it's definitely not available. No. Ah, that's a pity. Well, 
let's see. So let's first check if Australia is already installed. You can see that sometimes Flight Simulator acts a little bit slow because it's, uh, let's say, progressing something, right? So now it's going to download something. And what we will see is that we will have the additional stuff being installed here, right? Which is cool. So what did we do to recap? We installed the store update, then we installed the flight simulator update, then we installed the updates which were available uh, for the content we already have, right? All the previous world updates. And then as last one, we installed the world update itself because you really need to have it. So that's installed it. So fine. So let's go to the activities window and see what we have because we probably have some learning challenges. Uh, maybe some new ones, maybe not because i'm not sure in which category they are it looks like not in the uh, famous category so then let's look in the epic category uh, this one is new right the mabuyak islands uh the katoomba airfield and this isn't new this was already there so two in this category uh, Katoomba and Mabuek uh, Island. So let's see what else is new. So we need to go one level back and we go to Strong Wind to see what they have added there. Uh, you can see that I also still need to fly some uh, of these. Uh, nothing. Oh, this one is new. So uh, MT Hot 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 Ham. That's a new one. And other than that, there's nothing new here. I was... No, oh, this one. Queenstown. I'm not sure if this one is new. I don't think so. I think it was already there. Uh, strong wind. So that's that. And then we, of course, have the bush trips. So if you scroll down in the bush trips list, you will find multiple uh, bush trips. And you can see that I also still need to complete all of them. Uh, so I think that um, these are new. The Cairns to Hamilton, Derby to uh, Kunarura, uh, Wayula to uh, Kowapiti and Canberra to Melbourne. Uh, the other ones are not new, although Georgetown to Launceston might be one. Yeah, this is also part of Australia. So this is also a new one. So you can see that there's a lot of additional content being installed. Now, if you want to see what's really being, I'd say, added like point of interest, then you can go to the world uh, map. And you can see a lot here. Uh, so what we will first need to do is we need to move to Australia. And if you look previously at Australia, there were not so many points, but you can see a lot of uh, things like here, the, the Pine Gap uh, Joint Defense faci Facility, uh, here multiple ones, the lighthouses, the terminals, uh, the Great Barrier Reef, right, that was already announced. And then on the other, co other coast, uh, Mushman uh, Radio uh, Astronomy Observatory, in Perth, multiple things have been added here, including some point of interest, right, so that's really cool to see. But that's of course up to you which one you want to try first because you can see that there's a crazy amount of things which have been updated uh, slash changed, right? Also, here are a lot of things. So, cool stuff. I'm really looking forward to fly uh, with it. Fortunately, I don't see the Fokker yet, right? So, because that would be the ultimate solution. Uh, we, let's do a last check here. Uh, maybe they delayed it again. So we're going to go to the aircraft. No, it still is not available there. So this is where we're going to end our video in that case. So in this video, I showed you how you can get the latest world update and the steps which you need to take after, I would say, the MS Store update. And we went to the multiple steps. After that, we looked at multiple activities uh, which are updated. And we looked at how you can figure out which uh, point of interest are being added by using the world map. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.